out a hotel. Ooh. <laughs> they wouldn't want to stay in it, that's for sure. It was quite spooky. Uh, it wasn't only that we kind of read spookiness into it, but it, it, it itself was a very unpleasant feeling house altogether, and ugly, God. <laughs> People stay in it because it's the house where the haunting was shot, <laughs> amazingly enough. Now, I, I asked you about backstories for Teresa in uh, Limelight. Did you provide for yourself a backstory for Theo? We don't know a lot about her, but you bring on all these emotional colors and we see that she's got a lot of anger and a lot of bitterness and she seems like she's been rejected a lot. She's a woman who has issues, we would say today. Well, there were uh, there was uh, there were a couple of scenes that I don't know if we ever shot, or they were in the script certainly about her being a failed sculptor. Um, she was angry. I don't know what she was angry about. She was angry. I <laughs> I think I, I kind of imagine things as, as I go along, and the only time that I've written a scenario for myself when I had to was when I did a play called When We Dead Awaken by Ibsen. And there is this woman uh, who appears and has been in the life of the main character, sculptor. You know nothing about her. She isn't even given a name. She's just called the lady. That I really had to write a whole autobiography <laughs> uh, for her, because otherwise I wouldn't have known how to approach it. But. Um, you know, the, 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 what is her name in this, in the whole Theo. Theo. Theo, I mean, she's, it's straightforward. She's, you know, they've come here for this experiment. She is attracted to this other woman. She is, has got some kind of anger within her. Probably at the time of filming, I, I worked something out for myself, but I don't remember what it was and I hadn't worked it out ahead. I'm afraid I, I trust to the moment. I always have. You, you were, you have one, there's a line or two where you you put down the character played by Russ Tamlin, who's a sort of overzealous heterosexual. Yes. He's terrific in the film, actually. He's perfectly cast, yes. but you, you, you have such an edge. <laughs> yes. uh, and it, a, a lot of the lines in this film, I think, you would have been wonderful in comedy, but as your career developed, you didn't get a chance to do a lot of comedy. And you have a, I bet you have a very wicked sense of humor. <laughs> I don't know that I do, and I don't know how good I'd have been in comedy. Um, I've enjoyed the uh, the parts that I've done that have comic elements in them, like A Doll's House, which is not exactly a comedy, but it's got some very funny lines. But um, no, I've never, I've never really done a real comedy. Certainly not in film, and I'd love to have done on the stage a restoration comedy, but I was never asked to, so I never did it. Now, this is, this, is this one of your favorites, this film? Because The Haunting, the haunting. It's, a be it's beautifully made. Mm. It's, yeah. it's superb, it's a yeah. great film. Yeah, and it is one of my favorites, which is why you're seeing it tonight, because I <laughs> suggested it. And, and you know, Claire Bloom, you're one of our favorites. Isn't it an honor just to be with her? Thank you for Foster, and thank you so much, Claire. It's been a real pleasure having you here. Me too. And now, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, grip your seat, and enjoy <laughs> the haunting. <laughs> really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it.